What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at Arsenal. So we've got Wilshire, we've got David Seaman, and we have got Petit. So yeah, look, I think that this is this is a good pack. Um, I will go through it in a bit. If you guys, I will probably bring some training guides as well because there's multiple ways to train Wilshire, um, especially. Um, and I think Seaman as well, he's he's a he's a fairly decent goalkeeper. Petit is obviously, you know what you're going to be getting with him. Um, now, it is in a pack of 150, lads. Is it worth it? I personally will be talking about this on the live stream. Um, you probably have been watching the live stream by now or it'll be on in a bit. Um, if you're watching me today or tomorrow or Saturday, hopefully I'll be able to stream a little bit Saturday as well. Um, but yeah, to be honest with you, there are some... We're kind of into the end game now of eFootball 23 where... We're going to have a lot of similar players like this, right? So we are going to start with David Seaman. Um, I always remember Seaman growing up, lads, as one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League and in the world. I mean, I always remember him getting lobbed on that free kick from, from Ronaldinho as well. Um, but he was a fantastic goalkeeper. I think he looks really decent in this. Um, he's got a wavering form. He's got a B rating, which is what you want from your goalkeeper. Now, he doesn't have a low punt and he doesn't have long throw, which is a little bit of a concern, I think, for your goalkeeper if you're used to playing with that. The amount of chances I make from just taking it for granted that I can just long throw it out or I can low punt it out, it would take a lot for me to kind of like not use a goalkeeper with those player skills. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, he does have penalty saber as well, which will be good when you're simming games against the AI. If you give away penalties, your team gives away penalties, you will be able to save a few of them. Yeah, but for me, like, it all comes down to how he compares and how he's going to level up, right? So we are over here on eFootball DB. As you can see there, he does have 20, 27 levels to go um, when you look at his card there. And I do like this card, man. I do like this card quite a lot. But I do think that if you aren't going to be getting to the 90 reflex, um, I think that you're wasting your time with goalkeepers. Yes, you know, you can get away with a goalkeeper at 86, 87 reflexes. Um, but I still think that, you know, the 90 reflexes kicks in different animations and stuff, right? So we do have a goalkeeper here that's going to be extremely high rated and high ranked up uh, or high trained up. Um, and I think the biggest reason for that is because of his catching. And of course, we have the reflexes at 89. So this is these stats, 89 and this awareness one are going to get the boost once you have him on B form and his unwavering form. When you get the form arrow, these are going to be all, you know, you're going to have pretty much nearly all the stats apart from reach, uh, which you don't really need for his height. You're going to have them all in the 90s. Now, is he as good as Donnarumma? Is he as good as Oliver Kahn, Cassius, any of the epics, or Ob Black or Donnarumma as standard players or, you know, the club packs that they released way back when? Um, I would potentially say that he's probably in that range, um, but it depends on how you actually use your um, your goalkeepers. As I said, Having no low, long throw and low punt mightn't be an issue for you, but it would be an issue for me, right? Now, we've also popped in a few into his aerial strength just to get that uh, jump up as well. Um, now, you can mess around with this as well. I will do a training guide on it. You know, you could take one more off reflexes if you wanted to, and you'll still get that boost, and you could pop a few more into, you know, you could pop maybe one or two more um, in here if you wanted to get the goalkeeper awareness up one. Um, but you're just kind of, you know, it's, you're pretty much keeping the car pretty much the same. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, it's, it's a hard one to call because it depends on what goalkeeper you all already have, you know, goalkeeper, I've pretty much used Donnarumma. If he, if Donnarumma is up or Courtois is up, I'm using them every game, you know, and Oliver Kahn can come in every now and again if, if they're both not up. So, um, it is something to keep in mind. I usually leave my, uh, my, uh, goalkeeper settled. We've also got Emmanuel Petit. Uh, I always remember this guy growing up as well. Obviously, with the rivalry between United and Arsenal, um, there was that kind of rivalry there where, you know, him and Vieira versus Keane and Scolzi um, in that kind of middle of the park area. And I do like Petit in this game. I do think that he's an extremely solid player. Um, the thing with him is, as a box-to-box, -box, you're putting him into a category where he's going to be compete, competing and compared to some of the best players in the game. I would say that, you know, Anchorman, you can get away with a lot of different Anchorman in the game, but box to box, in my opinion, depending on your play style, you need to have him as one of the most complete players on your starting 11. So it's a very important position, especially for the way I play. Now, on the surface, he looks very, very good here. One touch pass, way to pass, low lofted. He also has man marking, interception, and sliding tackle. He's also got soul control, chip shot control, and cut behind and turn with way to pass, 
Lola after an outside curler are always nice to have. And he does have unwavering form on B rating, which is nice. He's a left footer as well, which I always like to mix up um, just to keep your opponent guessing. But to be honest with you, the passing is, is so wayward most of the time that it doesn't really matter what foot you put it on. But anyway, as a box-to-box -box DMF, he can play CMF as well. We're going to train him up in two different ways, but we won't do that till the training guide because it'll take too long. We'll keep it short and sweet. But when we look at him here, you can see here to get the max rating for him as a DMF, you're going to have to upgrade the defense quite high, right? Now, as a box-to-box, -box, I think this is probably overkill defensively. Um, I do think that you can use those stats in a much better way. Um, but that is just one version of him that you can get. Obviously, we will go into it in a little bit more detail um, with, the, with, the, with the video later on. Um, but I do think he's a good player, lads. I do think that there's a lot of scope with this player and a lot of different varieties that you can play with him. So it is just an interesting player to, to look at and another interesting player to add to the collection if you are an Arsenal fan. I know that people will usually spend spin for players that they really want to play with. And I mean, look, man, we will get into that in the live stream as well. We're going to be having a bit of a debate on the live stream. So hope you guys enjoy that. And then last but not least, we have Jack Wilshere. So Wilshere is a very good player in the game, lads, I think as well. He kind of reminds me of Skulls. Um, You know, he's, he's short enough for a CM. Um, so you're not going to be getting up in the air with him too much but he has unwavering form he's on b rating he's got double touch he's got heel trick he's got soul control one touch pass true passing weighted pass outside curler no look pass and he has got out fighting spirit as well so soul control and double touch with the cut behind and turn is extremely nice to have on a player that can play pretty much anywhere across the middle of the midfield or the or anywhere across midfield i should say from the middle to the left to the right um you know i think he's he's a truly truly uh, versatile player i would definitely love to get him um i think that you know this version of him is probably where he was at his best um creatively and you can see that in his stats he goes as well i think it's 30 levels with the big time it's from the 19th of october 2013 um so yeah like for me lads i think that this this is a player that again because you are going to be playing him as a creative option i would definitely be playing him as an amf i did a video last week where i talked about creative playmakers and you know playing them instead of a whole player or whatever um i think basically you're just going to be sitting wilshire in uh in front of a you're going to be sitting him in front of your say your your anchorman and your box to box um so you're going to be using him as an amf so to speak now, we can train him up in a lot of different ways as well, but anywhere you train him, you're going to have high dribbling, high passing, and you're going to have fairly good speed and acceleration with stamina and balance, which I like. Um, now, this isn't the best version of him, in my opinion, um, because I think the passing and the dribbling is probably slightly overkill compared to the rest of the stats, but it just gives you an example of how you can actually train him up. Um, I would probably play him as a central midfielder, play him in that role, kind of like the Pedri role. Does he compare to the likes of Pedri? I'm going to have to say no, um, just because I think that, you know, whole player Pedri or somebody that's going to be more creative, I want very specific things out of my players with different play styles. So like I want my anchor man to be extremely defensive. I want my box to box to be extremely good all round, you know, with very, very high stamina as a major plus. I want my creative playmaker, my whole player or my classic number 10. I want them to be either exceptionally good passers and dribblers or else I want them to be run and gun um you know really high balance and acceleration so Wilshire is a kind of a an, an interesting one because he he's kind of a mix between both so yeah we will do a training guide on him but let me know if you guys are going to spin or not I'll be back with the stream and I uh, hope to see you guys in a bit as I said it's in a pack of 150 is it worth it that is up to you um but we'll be back quite soon and as I said, lads, you can always find GP alternatives for these guys. I mean, you know, especially Donnarumma for, for Seaman. Um, Jack Wilshire, you know, there was a lot of players there for free that can compare as a creative playmaker. And Petit, even though he is a monster, I think regular version Casemiro um, is very, very strong. And then you've also got Declan Rice if you're looking for a defensively minded player. And then, of course, you have the likes of Kante, Caicedo, any of those guys that are going to be able to get up and down the pitch for a box-to-box. -box. So that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon, lads. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in a bit.